Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you a card that I've invented. It's um like a staggered card. It's kind of a stepper card, but it's not a full stepper card. Um, it, when it's displayed, you can see these panels in the background as well. It will stand up nicely. So it just stands like that. And on the back, you've got somewhere where you can pop your verse or print a verse and pop it on there you can decorate the back as well now there's two ways of doing these because this one's matting and layering and then i've made this one which is a lot simpler and it's just using strips one inch strips of paper and also they go to the back as well so when it's laid flat it's all decorated partly like this now this is an a4 and i've cut it down to eight and one eighth a4 is eight and a quarter and i've cut it to eight and one eighth and i've left the length the same which is not eight and three quarters it's a little bit more so it's a strange size a4 but i'm doing this demonstration in a4 with a6 toppers now you may notice eagle eyes that these are hunky dory little book toppers okay so what i mean by that are you can buy these books from hunky dory crafts and they contain all these toppers and the one i chose does have paper a few sheets of paper in the back and you, that's what i had left over so one sheet of paper did all the matting and layering on the outsides of this so really cool not much paper you only need a couple of a6 sheets so you can use a6 toppers you can make a6 toppers you can cut them down a bit and mat and layer them like you normally would you can decorate them how you want and for every occasion so really simple to do and i will show you how to do it and i've got some tips and tricks on how to do that okay so let's get started thank you very much everyone that has liked commented shared my um videos etc i really do appreciate it and those of you that have subscribed thank you very much i've nearly got a thousand so if you're watching this in 2050 i am a robot <laughs> sorry um <laughs> i think i've got a bit mad it's so hot in england so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the ray four and as you can see it's a smidge over so it's six things isn't it and i don't have a board or measuring tools that do six things of an inch but i'm leaving it as an a4 and i'll show you what happens so score it at five and seven eighths that's the nearest to halfway you're going to get five and seven eighths and then we're going to fold it in half like so and it won't be exactly the same on the front and the back but make sure that these edges top and bottom are straight so they line up we want these edges to line up and what you'll see is there's a little smidge there tiny it's not much about a sixteenth of an inch probably um that's going to be the back so this is going to be the back of the card and this is going to be the front so turn the card over now if you're gonna if you've got a paper trimmer then that's really cool and easy to do you should get yourself one if you haven't got one they're really useful um if not and you can't afford one and you just don't want to get one it's not your thing then just mark these with pencil and draw lines and cut lines okay so you're going to come in one inch two inch at three and four and a half okay and then one inch one inch so three there four and a half from the bottom up okay because this is the closed end so we're going to put it on our paper trimmer with the open at the top so you're going to mark with a pencil one and two inches in from both sides don't go along do it in from both sides three inches down on that one and four and a half from there three inches four and a half inches and then make your cut lines but i'll show you that on a trimmer so when you're at we'll do the one inch first because the one inch is the longer one so just pop it in at one inch and you're going to pop your blade onto three inches and score through both sheets of card now this is a 250 gsm and it goes through perfectly all right um, i wouldn't go too much stronger than that but that's about standard this is super smooth card and then move it along to two inches um start your blade at four and a half inches and cut all the way to the end and it's cutting through both sheets again then because i've got two inches this side and two inches that side i've done it on the right hand side if you um haven't got it and you're doing it this way and you're doing two and one this way then just flip it making sure that you keep the open end here and just flip it over but i've got the luxury of a two inch gap so it suits me to continue on. so i shall do one inch there and make sure it's all lined so on the one inch we're going down to three so just pop your score blade 
a three all the way to the end and then on two inches here we're going to do four and a half now when i designed this card i did design it with art deco in mind and i made my art deco card as you've seen oh, a bit strange there strange little shame um and i think it really does suit art deco cards and they are super popular and you can get lots of those like a4 top a6 toppers and all your little um books etc but as you can see i made another card with it because i thought well it doesn't have to be limited to that so because we had our open end at the trimmer that way have your open end on your scoreboard that way okay so keeping the fold here you're going to score at three down to the first cut line from the top up and three from the bottom cut line like that up like that then what i like to do is get a ruler because we're going between lines so if you pop a ruler on at four and a half because that's where the neck because you can tell because your cut was there so you could sort of like just wing it and hope that it does land but i do like to put mine just before the score lump um lump pump <laughs> dip <laughs> so just before that like that and then you'll find the right hole you just go close to the ruler and you'll get the right little groove to go in and then what i like to do is flip my card over this way so you're keeping the open end there and then just do it on the other side because we are working on double thick card here double thickness of card i should say so it's always cool to score both sides and then you're getting a real good score on everything and that's it so that makes your card and then it'll all be down to how we decorate it so what we need to do now uh, the outside ones are going to dip so we've got a temp fold here and we're going to make the outside valleys the, both of these are going to become valley folds like that so just gently dip them in don't worry about it too much and then just gently get these to mountain fold the score lines that you just did so you're dipping that in and just manipulating them gently i always like to do it gently to begin with because card can sort of fold where it wants to not where you're telling it to and then you can see that it wants to go in now it's okay to do it so i'll just reinforce those a little bit more make sure that the sides are all straight and there we go we've got our shape our nice like tiered card it's also a really good cake shape so you could decorate this with like lace and things and ribbons and bows and have little candles coming at the top so lots of things you can do and it does fit in an a5 envelope by the way so it is an a5 card in size so i don't know if i did the back but just reinforce both sides like so and then it's down to decorating so if you've got um your topper so i'm going to use this one bring it in i'm going to use this so this one's going to go in the centre and as you can see it fits perfectly in the middle. So we can either glue that on but I like to do, if I'm doing strips, one inch strips, I'll do another one in a minute. And when I do it the strip way, which is the easiest way because there's no matting and layering, it's just one inch strips, then I put this on after. But when I do the matting and layering, I put it on first. Now the glue I'm using is construction glue by Hunky Dory as well. So that's their construction glue. I find with paper it doesn't buckle it or anything and i've um popped it into a smaller applicator because i find the nozzle on that one a little bit too big and loads comes out so i go not right to the edge i just go close to the edge about an eighth of an inch away and i'm not dead straight don't worry about it and then i just scribble all over the rest so we're just going to get some glue onto there and then we're going to pop that in place so start it fold at the top so that you know that it's level just pick it up so i can see and then just bring it down a little bit like that and rub it down and that's as simple as that so you've got your your um hunky dory little book or your a6 topper that you've made and used on your card so with regards to matting and layering cut yourself some strips these are going to be seven eighths if you're doing two layers okay if you're doing one layer you can choose seven eighths or three quarters in width and um, when we do the other one in a minute it's going to be a full inch to get it to completely cover like this one did so there's no gaps it just goes all the way across like that and this one that we're doing right now is got double mats in layers 
so if you're going to do that then seven eighths okay um, you can measure and cut like that or I can give you all the measurements you can sort of like measure it in full and then cut it down one eighth of an inch so get your strip seven eighths measure what that is or just put a line on it and then cut it one eighth of an inch shorter um, like the, do the same there and I can also give you the sizes again in a minute which I will do then with your paper so with your paper it did come off of one sheet so you just need to do I've already done some matting in there and here but you're going to cut your paper at three quarters of an inch okay so it's seven eighths for the bottom layer three quarters of the top now if this is mind-blowing you don't worry because in a minute we're going to do a much simpler way of doing it without the matting and layering so with this one you want to turn it this way you want to have the bottom because it's it's got a pattern on it and the first cut is two and three quarters like that and that gives you the bottom matting layer to go inside of this strip that I've already cut down oh sorry it's two and three quarters like that that's the inside layer and I'm going to get all the measurements for you in a minute and give them to you so you just make your matting layer like that and then this one is an eighth of an inch under two and three quarters so you just pop it on take it another eighth so it's two and five eighths like that oh I've done one and five eighths what am I like <laughs> just cut another one then guys because I haven't got one ready so three quarters of an inch thought I'd show you should have just made it <laughs> three quarters of an inch we need a two and five eighths don't we so two and five eighths there hope that's right this time and that one will go in there and again I'll just use the same glue to pop that in like that so we've got our mats in layers so they'll all go on in a minute and I'll just go and grab the measurements because I've left them over the other side of the room. So grab yourselves a pen and paper. So the black strip sizes that you're going to need. Now bearing in mind the front is longer than the back isn't it? So that's why they change in size. So when you're doing your black strips and you're going to cut two each of the sizes I give you. They're all 7 eighths wide so just cut yourself some A4 strips into 7 eighths wide. And then you're going to cut one at two and seven eighths, one at four and three eighths, one at two and three, well, there's two of them, but I'm saying one at two and three quarters and one at one and a quarter. And then repeat and do that again. Or two times two and seven eighths, two times four and three eighths, two times two and three quarters, two times one and a quarter. And then for the pattern here, it's going to be three quarters of an inch wide strips. Okay, so they're a little bit smaller and they're going to, uh, one at two and three quarters, well two, <laughs> two at two and three quarters, two at four and a quarter, two at two and five eighths and two at one and one eighth. Okay, so rewind that if you didn't catch that. Um, I'll try and pause the video at the end, write them down because they're not neat, they're scribbles where I was designing and um, I'll just leave it there for you to see but if i mess the video up then i'll put it in the description because <laughs> i have been known to do that just cancel myself out so then all you need to do is pop these on so you can open up your card the longer strips go there and then you've got your smaller strips going like this over this side sorry you skip one okay so your long strip goes on and it's quite good that they're all different sizes in a way because it's obvious where they go and with your two and seven eighths and your two and three quarters they're obviously similar in size so just pop that one on like that i'll show you that in a minute so always measure those ones first to make sure you get them in the right place and you can mat and layer like i say you can chop this down chop an eighth of an inch off all the way around or um, you know what you want to do and mat and layer it and pop it on there but keep it the same size as the hunky dog topper originally was um, and then these two I've got three now so one's larger than the other so the larger one goes at the bottom so that's a larger one at the bottom so the way to remember is both the larger ones go at the bottom so and then you just leave your border around try and get it even to be honest with you if you don't people don't know it you always think they do but they never do because they're just amazed that you've even made the card in the first place 
happy to receive. That's how it should be. You have to exaggerate a bit on how long it took as well. Don't forget. <laughs> so there you can see it's all come, coming together nice. Now I, I won't go through and finish all that. I'll do it later. So it gives you an idea of what you've got. Fold it down and you can see there you've got because I like to do these ones because they do show. Okay, it will stand up nicely, but they do show. And I think this would have looked nice with a black edge around it. But for simplicity, or even there's another cheat, use black card, cut this down a bit, pop your um, topper on, cut your topper down and pop it on, and then just cut these to the black size that I told you, so the darker size. So the seven eighths wide ones. So you'd cut two and seven eighths two and seven eighths, four and three eighths, two and three quarters, one and a quarter in length. And they would all fit then in there and you haven't had to do any matting and layering and it gives it that little bit of wow as well. So there you go, some ideas on that one. Now let's do the easy one. So same principle, make the card exactly the same and I've already made one here. So we folded it in half, we scored it at five and seven eighths, we cut it down to eight and one eighth wide. So you're just taking an eighth of an inch off. And then when you've got it like this, you pop your score blade on at three, cut to the end, and that's one inch in. Two inches in, you do it four and a half, cut to the end, and then the same on the other side, one inch, two inch, three, four and a half. And then you just pull it all together. So with this one, what I said is I've got strips. So I've got double-sided paper here. Um, a4 paper I think it's hunky dory as well pretty sure it is yep it is so what you need to do with this I'm just trying to work out if there's an upside down I might be putting them upside down but never mind if I do so I've got this topper which I thought was pretty hilarious so this is in one of the other books <laughs> oh, that's really funny I thought yep that's quite a few people I could send that one to <laughs> and then I thought it'd look nice if I put the dark leaves there and then the beige leaves next to it like that okay so that's what we're going to do and this is a much easier way of doing it so I put the topper on last because there is a chance that these will be too wide you know it all depends on the accuracy of your cutting so don't worry about that what we do is we'll put glue onto the card so where these two bits are and this is why it's so much easier this way so where that is we just pop that on there and we're going to put the dark one on first well we'll put the light one on first so the light one's going to go to the edge and you can take it right over to the bottom like line it up at the bottom it's finished and then we put let's move that out of the way because it's probably obstructing a bit so we do that and then there's no measuring with this you just have to get one inch strips at the end we all like easy don't we and that's that one so just rub those down and we can do the other side while we're here normally i wouldn't i'd do one side at a time but just to save time you yeah, have got to worry about all those crazy measurements they do look nice when they're matte and lead but it is more finicky if you've got dexterity problems etc then you may not want to be messing around doing that so just pop that one on there like that and then this one can't pick them up goes on there like that there you go you can see my measurements were out a bit so I'm going to slide them over I didn't cut them exactly an inch then turn your card over and you can see the pattern now where you can see the pattern just cut it a, a bit shorter so you can handle the card better we'll cut them down properly in a minute if you want to you can cut them perfectly because I put all four on there's just too much going on there for me so just give them a good old rub down and make that sure that they're done and then what you need to do is take your scissors and just there's two bits here because there's two folds okay so the front fold butt your scissors up to the fold and make sure it's completely dry before you do this and just snip off so you can see I can just I can feel it you know there's enough card fold there to know where your scissors should be make sure it goes underneath that bit there don't put your scissors inside there and cut the card make sure it goes on the underside like that so the scissors would be poking through whoops sorry i knew i'd do that you're all all right <laughs> and then butt it up snip it off same on this side same thing don't forget you've got two bits of card there so you only want to do it on the 
on the back one, get it to run underneath. Didn't go in enough on that one. And then just onto there, like that. And you can see I didn't make that one good enough, so I'll go back in and trim it again, not a problem. And the other one. I find it harder doing it at this side than I do the other side. Probably if you're left-handed, you'll find it easier the other side. There we go. So they're on. Done. So now we can pop our topper on if we want to, or we can, t and you can see that it overlaps that one a little bit, but it doesn't affect the mechanism of the card at all. But what you need to do now is on these, you're going to be putting glue on the back parts. So we're just going to pop some glue. Come here, got off this little thing out of the way. Little thing, I mean that rubber lid. I know what I meant, but you're probably thinking, what's she on about, little thing? Enter your own world sometimes, don't you? So we're going to continue with our green. There, and that's not straight. I'm just going to spin it around because I don't think it'll matter. And then just make sure that that edge is okay because it'd be all right to go underneath like that. And same here, the outside edge is what's important. On here, you want the outside edge to be lined. It doesn't matter if it overruns a little bit because that'll be chopped off in a minute. And again, you can cut these down now. Alternatively, you can wait and do them all together. So you're just going to go in on here and cut these off. Oops, pull it now. I shouldn't pull it, should I? Because it's not dry and I'll probably pull it out of sink. I was so impatient. Is anyone else impatient? Just have to have it done yesterday. So now you can see that we've got our back layer in. You've got your back ones in. So it's really easy to do it that way, isn't it? So I'll pop this one in as well. Like so. You can open that up fully. And you can see, I'll just literally scribble. Scribble, scratch this glue around. It's very good glue. Very impressed with it. I haven't used it much. I bought it a while ago, but... I haven't really um, had the need to use it, but on paper, it is a godsend. Because paper buckles, bubbles and everything, but this glue doesn't allow that to happen, so that's good. I've got a short piece here. No, I haven't. It's just as long, so... I was going to be frugal, but no. It's the same size. And again, turn it over, fold your card back up as it was. And because these are, you know, just have it open so I've got it hanging open a little bit so I know that I'm not cutting the wrong one because you could still take the score line off the bottom one if you're not careful. Move that out of the way and then we can pop this fella on. He's funny, isn't he? But you can um, think of people. I'm gonna not. I'm not putting a sentiment on this one until I decide who I'm going to give it to. Could be any occasion though, couldn't it? You just post it for your son's bedroom and say, get up, <laughs> do something. <laughs> just line that up again. What's good about this though is you can take it back off again. You have got wiggle time with it. I love glue with wiggle time. Tape's brilliant, but double-sided tape. And this glue is well when it's dry. Don't do it now. She says as she does it. Wait for it to dry and then you can rub it off as fast. There's another pot. So there you go. All done. Okay, so have fun making these guys and I look forward to seeing what you've made. Speak to you soon. Bye.